Good afternoon, Tactical Llama family. Welcome back to the Tactical Llama. I'm Mike. We have something that I have been wanting to get for quite some time. Went out to a gun show today with Jeremy and Lonnie. Make sure you check out Jeremy's channel in the link in the description and found something I have been wanting to get. It really wasn't a matter of what brand I got. I just wanted to get something that I liked in a good price and I did. So stick around, we'll be right back to tell you what we have. Okay, before the intro, I was telling you that we found something really, really cool that I'm super happy about. Before we get going, one thing we're gonna start doing is merch. And we've started out with some of our stickers. So if y'all want one of these stickers, let me know and we can start getting out stickers. We're gonna start getting some shirts and some other merch, but we thought we'd start with stickers just to see how they do. I wanna say thank you to everyone who subscribed to this channel. You are, you are crushing it. For those of you who happen to stop by but don't hit that subscribe button, please take the few seconds it takes to click it. I know 99% don't subscribe. Just hit that button, make sure you subscribe, support the channel, and join the rest of the tactical family as we continue to do guns and reviews. Also, make sure you check out Veterans Oath. I'm gonna put a link in the description below. I picked up these really cool Damascus matching blades. I did a review on those, so check those out. This organization supports veterans and their mission to help homeless veterans get off the street. So check them out. The link is gonna be in the description below. So what did I find? I found a Rock Island Armory 45 ACP 1911 TAC or Tactical. I'm so excited about this. Now I have not had a chance to shoot it. This is just gonna be my initial thoughts and what we think about the, the pistol, but I am so jazzed about this. Now, these retail or MSRP around $6.99. Retail on the streets, you can find them for around $5.80, sometimes lower. I found this, and it, it is technically used, had a single magazine fired through it. That is it. That is all this pistol has had through it. So it is essentially a brand new pistol. I picked this thing up for 415 bucks. I am just, I am so jazzed over this. So what do we think about it? So this is your 1911 style pistol from Rock Island Armory. Uh, right here is their logo, Rock Island Armory. Now, one thing they used to do is they used to put the whole Rock Island Armory right here, which is I'm glad they don't do that anymore. I'm glad they just go ahead and put it right here. Real quick, uh, some, some specs on this, and I'm not gonna give you all the little fine details. I'll put that right here if you wanna read that. But what we have is the five inch Rock Island Armory 1911. Again, this is the um, A1 FS Tact. And this is the um, service length. I can't remember, I know there's a couple different, like the commander length, um, which I think is like four and a quarter inch. And I can't remember if it's service length, totally drawn a blank. I, and I literally just had it in my head. But this is the five inch um, Rock Island. So starting from the front, moving our way back. Overall, the pistol has a parkerized finished, which is not, the, the, the greatest finish. It's gonna start tomorrow and, and you're gonna see marks on it, which you're already starting to see. But moving forward, it has a uh, internally a full length guide rod. Um, it has a full dust cover. I don't know why they call this a dust cover, so if anyone knows, please comment and let me know why they call this a dust cover. I call it the rail. It has a Picatinny rail under, under, uh, underneath for attachments, which is really, really awesome. Coming back, we only see serrations on the back. I think the Tact Ultra has serrations in the front, so it's hard to get a grip if you want to do any press checks, but the rear is easy to grab. 
The sights are um, not great, uh, to be honest with you. And the reason is, is because they're blacked out. So there's your front sight, and then your rear sight is all blacked out. So when you're getting your sight picture, you're looking at all black. There are dimples here, so that I, if I want to put white in there, and I could color the end of it, I'm probably gonna tap these out and replace them anyway. But the rear sight is adjustable, so you can adjust your, um, your sight picture on that one, which is, which is pretty cool. The slide stop or bolt release, or I know some people get kind of angry when you say, oh my God, don't use it as a bolt release, is pretty tactile, easy to uh, manipulate. It's, it sticks out quite a bit, which is pretty cool, and it's very, very textured. So I can hit it, and man, it slaps that thing forward. The safety on this, very solid, easy to manipulate. No effort is required whatsoever to manipulate this safety. It is ambidextrous, which is pretty cool. The bolt, the uh, magazine release, you get the magazine here, is very easy to manipulate. It's textured, my thumb. Um, and now I do have to break, if I want to use this finger, I do have to break my grip and slide forward. I wish it was maybe a little more extended, but it is very um, checkered and easy, easy, easy to use. And it does send that magazine out. <clears throat> the grip is a rubberized grip, very aggressive grip, uh, I might say. So uh, as far as slippage, I don't see that happening. It is textured in the front and, and checkered in the back. So there, it is all the way around. And the grip, I'm going to tell you on this, is very comfortable, very, very comfortable on this one. I don't have a problem with that at all. The trigger is a skeletonized trigger, and so is the hammer and it has the extended beaver tail on the back. The uh, th uh, palm safety has a little bit of texture on it and it's easy to manipulate. It doesn't feel like I'll, I'll miss it. So when I'm, I'm coming in for my grip, I don't feel like I'm gonna miss that grip when I grab that thumb safety. The trigger is adjustable for over travel. The trigger is fantastic. I. I am super happy with that trigger. It's a 1911. So as a 1911, you're gonna get uh, what I would consider a way above average trigger already. Even above like the, the stock Glock trigger, which is trash. These just, it's, it's fantastic. So here is the uh, pull. There's a little bit of take up and then bam, it breaks. And we'll go ahead and reset. It's, it's a little bit of, of, of creep when it comes back, but man, it's, it's, it's so, so minimal. The slide is very, very heavy. When you rack this, it's, it's heavy. So you're not gonna really grab this thing from the front, you can, but if, it, if your fingers are wet or, or something, you might, you're gonna slip on this up front because there's no serration. So it's, it's a heavy, heavy spring. I'm uh, probably going to swap that out for something easier. I, I, I know there's a way we can work this and make this thing slide a lot easier. But overall, it's, it's not terrible to, man, to manipulate. I'm so happy that I was able to pick this up. It's one that I have been wanting. I don't own a 45 ACP. Now I do, so I'm super stoked. I can't wait to get it out to the range to tell you what we think about it, how it shoots, does it perform well? And once we do that, we'll post another video on our complete shooting review of the Rock Island 1911 A1 FS Tact. Till next time, make sure you like, make sure you share. Above all, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, this is Mike. Thanks for watching. And thanks for stopping by the Tactical Llama.